concept of no longer existing terrifies me. I don't want to just go to sleep and not wake up. I want to actually have a good chance at reanimation and just continuing my existence. I, I'm an atheist, so I don't believe that there's existence beyond what we have in the laws of, within the laws of science. And so far, cryonics is the only atheist alternative. How old are you? I'm 16. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be 17 next month. I am Alcor member 2561 Neuro. So are you just going to be frozen for your head? Yeah, yes. That, um, yeah. I was the, the, the benefit of that is, um, aside from it being cheaper, it, they can, con they can, the procedure for a head only is more pristine and careful than a procedure for a whole body. I mean, I'm only, I'm signed up for the neuro because I want, because I value my brain and I want it to be treated with as much care as possible. And if man, my body would just be a nuisance, especially if my body is, I mean, really there's no point in me having my body if it can just be replaced. Regenerative medicine is an emerging field and it should be a child's play to regenerate a neck down body if you can repair um, a, if you can repair a deceased brain. The other teenage cryonicists that I know of were signed up by their parents at birth. I don't think there have been other teenagers besides me who have taken the interest in initiative to actually sign up. Um, what are your parents like? Are they signed up? Well, my mom isn't signed up, but she has a membership at the Cryonics Institute, so she can sponsor my dog's muffin and cupcake. Um, sometimes, sometimes I call them snuggle muffins. And how much is it to sign up your animals? Um, Three thousand dollars for small dog head only, which is called neuro. Um, Two thousand for a cat neuro, um, and fifty-eight hundred for a cat and dog neuros. And if they're over fifteen pounds, it's one hundred and fifty for a traditional pound. From its quiet beginnings in the 70s, today Alcor has over 700 members around the globe, including world-renowned scientists, physicians, scholars, and business leaders. In this state-of-the-art operating room in Scottsdale, Arizona, the intricate work of cryonics is routinely performed. The science of cryonics is a series of meticulous and exacting procedures to ensure that the patient has the best possible chance to be revitalized in the future. If I have new technology new robotics isn't developed, my dogs are as good as popsicles. So I want to go into the field myself just to make sure that they're going to see the light of day. Suspend Animation is the standby provider of the, um, the Cryonics Institute and the secondary standby provider of Alcor. They're the people who go to patients in the field when they're on their deathbed. Then when they're pronounced dead, they replace their blood with a stabilization solution and pack them in ice and transport them to the facility where the final cryoprotective operation and encapsulation is performed. The prerequisite that Suspend Animation has for working with their standby team is being a paramedic. I was, I tried to um, join um, an, e, um, um, an EMT department and become a paramedic so I could work with Suspend Animation and help them with standby services where they treat patients in the field, but I missed an orientation due to attending a cryonics conference, so they banned me for a year. So I'm, I'm just, I just gave up on that. I'm a hedonist. If I can get my hands on junk food, I'm going to eat it. I don't care what happens to my body as long as I'm happy and enjoying myself. What else makes you a hedonist? Um, mm, I like to veg out and just, I like to veg out in front of a computer, just watch media, just entertain myself. I mean, 
just existing isn't that isn't just existing reason enough to live I mean you can't do things and you can't have fun if you don't exist I mean you need to be alive to do fun things right well when they have the technology to repair a necrotic person they'll have the technology to make life um, infinitely pleasurable What happens if I'm right and I don't? Um, I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I didn't. If I, if the tech, when, the t when, the t when, and if the technology is available, and if I, if I just decide not to do it just because there was a chance of the technology not being available, I wouldn't be able to live with, my, with, with myself after the technology does become available, and the rest of my long extended existence would be miserable. So. I just take the chance of it not working and try and advocate it as if it was guaranteed to work. I see it as the only science-based religion that exists. I mean, a religion is, to me, a re the role of a religion is um, post-mortem closure. Um, so people have their gods like um, Ganesha and Allah and Jesus. I have Alcor.